Hello friends, it's Cassandra and I'm back in my room because, because first semester is over and that is a beautiful thing. Um, so today we're gonna talk about my first semester, particularly how it went uh, since I have depression and anxiety, all that good fun stuff. So it's my first official day of not having any college things to do. I apologize because I am filming this on Saturday night and Saturdays are when I post, but um, you know, it it's been a long semester, all right, so... Um, how, how's my semester been? That is a very complicated question, actually. Um, I, my first instinct is to say good, which is a good thing, but it, that's not necessarily true. That being said, like, if any of you are still in high school, and, you know, you're nervous about college, like, I don't want you to watch this video and say, oh my gosh, I can't go to college. I have plenty of people I know um, from high school and that I've met at college who have anxiety or depression or both and are doing, you know, just like they're, they're thriving in college. So I, I'm making this video to be honest about how it's gone for me, but I don't want you to think that because of my experience, yours is going to be the same way. <sighs> so that disclaimer out of the way, um, it's been very, very hard for me in the sense of mental illness in college. The college I'm at is a great college, like I still think I chose the right one. It's not like any of the people are terrible people. There's nothing wrong with the college itself, but things have been bad at college in the sense that um, my depression and my anxiety has been the worst it's been in a pretty long time, like at least three years probably. For me, like, depression was always my main, like, my primary mental illness, and then anxiety was just kind of there on the side. Um, in college, that flipped, and anxiety, I had anxiety every single day, and, you know, depression was there on the weekends, and so, um, it was, it was rough, um, not only because, you know, I was adjusting to a new place, but it was almost like I was adjusting to a new kind of mental illness, just because, like, the way it was affecting me wasn't how I was used to it affecting me. Personally, like, I, like, going through the semester when October hit, I was like, I just want to go home. Like, I can't. I want to go home and... Towards the end of November, I think it was, um, I called my family and I was like, I don't know if college is right for me. Like this, like I know I want to go to college, but I don't know if going to college is right for me. Like I don't know if maybe I need to be doing a community college where I can go from home. I personally would rather do um, online college. I don't know why, but like, it, I don't know, it, I just feel like it would be better for me personally. Um, and I was like, you know, I like if I am doing college at home, I'll get a job and I'll be working and doing school and blah 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 blah. And so, you know, I talked to people at school about it. Um, friends who were older than me. I also talked to one of my teachers who's also sort of an advisor. I don't know. She's cool. Anyway, we talked and I was very straightforward about it. Like, I'm not having a good time even though I know I chose the right college to go to. Like, this is the best one I can be at for me. And I'm really, really struggling and I don't want to come back next semester. And basically what she said to me was, well, a couple of things. Um, but one of the things she said was, this is 
not unusual um, for kids with depression and anxiety uh, to have that kind of a thing because change is hard anyway like the college transition is hard no matter what and so then when you stack on things that are like wow you can't go to class today because you can't even leave your dorm because you're so anxious like yeah that causes issues and it makes it even harder but um, at the same time if you go to college and you realize, like, this is too much for me, that's not a failure, you know? Like, for me, I didn't want to, it took me so long, like, the end of November, to admit to my parents, I don't know if going away to college is the right thing for me to do. I felt like that was a failure. Like, I had failed, and that was that. But the same time like other people who make that choice I am always proud of them for being able to see like I this is too much for me and I know my boundaries and my limits and I got to do what's right for me kind of a deal so it was just kind of like looking at myself and saying okay why why do I feel like I don't feel this way towards other people so why do I feel like it's a failure when I do it and it became a realization of if I didn't have depression and anxiety I know I'd be just fine like I would be just fine at college like I know I know I'm smart enough and I know I'm socially adaptable enough to, to hand like I am independent enough to handle college but it's because of these illnesses that I feel like I can't and maybe I can't and so that's not something that I should feel bad about myself because it's not my fault if I can't get through it and so that was really like what it took for me to be able to tell my parents I don't know if I should come back next year or even next semester and that opened a line of communication with my parents that I've never had before like I've always felt like I can go to my parents about things like if there's something I'm struggling with or like I'm hurting in some way like I've always felt like I could go to them um, but failure was something that like crossed that line of things I could go to my parents about um, but ever since I admitted like my fear of failure to them and like how that just intensifies whatever I'm going through I've had a much better communication line with my parents and so I mean that's been cool that like that benefit has come out of this but um, yeah, and like my parents were really supportive when I first talked to them about it. They were like, okay, obviously, you know, we don't want you to just like give up on school, but if this is not the right thing for you to be doing, then let's explore different options together. And um, so that's been really, really helpful. And like, I know that not everyone's parents are like that. So obviously, I'm very blessed in that sense. So it's been a wild ride. I will be back next semester at my college. Um, I feel like, you know, being open with how college is with my parents allows there to be a lot more support on that side of things that I wasn't having before. Um, also, uh, through like being open with my parents, I've been a little bit more open with my friends. It's allowed me to find friends that really, like, they, they, they're they going through the same thing and they know how it is. And so I have a better sense of support at school as well. And um, my school also has counseling and stuff. I will, as soon as I get back, be setting up appointments and things for that so hopefully it will be better during christmas break my family and i are going to be exploring you know what's the difference between giving up and understanding that something is too much for you and so stopping um and just you know 
taking the time to say, okay, this is probably the biggest change I've ever gone through. No, not probably. This is the biggest change I've ever gone through in my life, and high school was a really hard transition for me. And so that took a couple of months, probably. And so it makes sense that college would take even longer for me to transition to. And so maybe I do just need a full year being at school to be, to realize I'm gonna be okay doing it. Um, so. Yeah, there's not really a solution to any of this, which is why I was a little hesitant to talk about it, um, because, like, I don't want to scare any of you from going to college, like, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I know plenty of people with depression and anxiety or other things, and they're thriving at college and having a great time. Um, so, you know, it, it really depends on you personally. Yeah, so, so really I just wanted to be honest with you about how things have been going and for the, for the sake of letting you know that like if you are having a hard time adjusting and alone and it's hard, it's hard and I know it, but, no but, and you know there doesn't have to be a but, it, it just it is hard and that makes you all the more greater for going through whatever you're going through. Um, know that the best is not the same as your best. And so as long as you're doing what you can and you're giving it your all, um, even if you say, well, this isn't my all though, if I wasn't anxious today, I would have turned this paper in on time and I would have done that assignment and I would have gone to that class, you know, and it's like, okay, well, but you're not, you know, you do have anxiety. And so what you did do today is your best. And so, I mean, that, that's been really hard for me to, to accept. Um, but now that I have accepted that, I at least have a little bit more peace with how I'm doing in college. Like, it doesn't make college easier, but it at least removes a little bit of the turmoil inside of me for how college has been going. Um, so, yeah, kind of a downer video, I know. But I'm at home and my sister is back from her around the world trip, so I'm sure I'll be doing lots of collabs with her and probably my little sister too because we're all at home and home is where I'm happiest. So, um, so yeah, like, like I said, just another reminder because I really don't want you to be scared. Like my, my college experience is not your college experience. So, um... Yeah, that's just how I've been doing it. If you have, you know, had a similar experience to me, I hope this is comforting to you in, a, in the sense that you're not alone. Um, yeah, so I'm here for you guys. I do have an email. I put it down in the description every week, cassandraspocket at gmail.com. Um, if you ever, you know, like you just need to talk to somebody, I mean, I obviously, I encourage you to talk to real people that are face to face with you and counselors and therapists and all that. But you know, like if you don't know where to start, um, uh, I'm, I'm here for you. Uh, so, so that being said, um, enjoy your Christmas break, everybody. And, um, yeah, yeah. I've been sleeping all day, which is why I haven't filmed since 5.30 p.m. Um, I'm not going to be able to stand up because my feet are asleep. <laughs> um, but embrace the life, and I'll see you next week. Bye.